Hi, Chris. So in our last game, we got a 3-1 victory against Notts County. Come in, we came back from a goal behind and we had three different goal scorers. What would you say impressed you the most about that performance? The, the character to come from a goal behind. It's not very often that we have to do that or have had to do that. We, we know that for our standards, the players know for our standards for the first 30 minutes, we weren't, we weren't anywhere near them. And not necessarily, I'm not necessarily talking about the quality of football that we played. I'm just talking about the basics, running, tackling, closing your opponent down, those sort of things. We just weren't, we started slowly. We started slowly and they, and they capitalised and probably should have been turned up to, uh, on, on the, on the half an hour mark, um, Liv Smith got a goal. Abby Ringrose won the ball high up the pitch, um, and, and a goal from from thirty odd yards from from Liv, and that just seemed to lift us. We then just managed to start getting tight to people, uh, started getting the better of our opponents, you know, in your individual battles, and from there on was very very good. Uh, for the hour, we were very good. The other thing that's really impressive is it's noticeable that. The, you know, two of our, our main goal scorers weren't there in Abby and Lucy. To have three different scorers, it's nice to um, maybe answer some of those questions around you just being a, a one-player team or you don't score if Abby Morales not there, you don't score if Lucy Farrow's not there. So nice to be able to answer those critics. And, and you know, it could have been more, to be fair. It could have been more than 3-1. But, yeah, overall, a very good hour. And you're now unbeaten in your last seven games, picking up six wins, one draw, scoring over 40 goals and conceding just four. Is this the sort of performance that you're expecting in the second half of the season? Was this the form that you were looking to get into? Yeah, I think it's the sort of form that I know we're capable of, given the players that we've got. It's the form that I know we are capable of. For any team at any level to go on that sort of run is, is fantastic and the credit to the players. They they turn up week in, week out and do what they need to do week in, week out. They are relentless with following instruction, doing the right thing, what we perceive to be the right thing anyway. And they've, they've been absolutely fantastic. They've needed to be because um, in some of those games that you that you've you've spoken about is the the winning the semi final. There is the the game against Mansfield, which was no easy feat at home, despite what the scoreline might suggest. That was a really tough game for for, for an hour. Notts County twice a draw away, and then coming from one nil down on Sunday. So they've needed to be they've needed to be at those levels and needed to put that run together because to achieve our objectives, we we can't afford to to drop points. We need to win every game. So is it what I expected? Expected is a weird word. It's what I know they're capable of and it's what we need to do. Yep, you touched on it just earlier. We got Mansfield Town this week away. And last time we played them, it was 5-1. But as yeah. you said, it wasn't an easy game. And they're now on beast in their last three games since we've played them. What sort of performance yeah, yeah. are you expecting from this Mansfield Town side? Uh, the last two games have been really... The last two games have been really tough against them. The, the the league cup semi final win uh, last season was was two one and settled by settled by two penalties they were really resolute and uh, combative and and made things really difficult and that was the same at our place as well they were really res resolute restricted us to to not many goal scoring opportunities and they've got threats on the break um, uh, I, I don't quite know I don't know what the girl's name is. Uh, to be fair, but the girl down the left hand side, she's she's quick, she's got quality, and uh, as an out ball is get, gets them up the pitch and is a threat. I think that's how they scored the goal actually against us. So I'm expecting to come up against a you know a, a well a well rehearsed Mansfield team that know what they're about and and play their game plan. It's it's difficult to play against. They're a good team. They're third in the league for a reason. We need to go there and have the same attitude that we need to continually knock on the door, ask questions, and hopefully our quality will, will will come through and we'll win the game. But it won't be an easy game. We, we know that. Yeah, and this weekend's fixture is our first of four away games in a row. Do you think your mm -hmm. side will be able to adapt to playing away from home so often? 
we like Ashby Avenue. We like playing at Ashby Avenue. It's 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 the best ground in the league. Uh, we do like playing there. But I think I don't know what our record is away from home. I think you know if you take into account the take into account the Lincoln City County Cup game and obviously the league game against Northampton. I think we can probably say that our away form is better than our home form. And I think we've lost since Chesterfield first game of the season, maybe. Chesterfield and West Brom. Yeah. And West Brom, we, we, we lost. So, OK, so, it's, you know, there or thereabouts the same. The players adapt brilliantly, um, home, away, formations, who's in, who's out. The the objective on Sunday is really, really clear. We need to go and win the game. So, that be it at Ashby Avenue or at Mansfield Town or Utterbridge or wherever we're playing, we need to, we need to go and win the game. So, um it's tough to play away from home consecutively four games on the bounce, but uh, the group of players are capable of doing doing that and putting in four really good performances. And finally, we had a few players missing in our last fixture. What's the squad availability looking like for this weekend's game? Yes, yeah, so um, same same deal. No Abby Morel, uh, no Lauren Churcher. We... Uh, that's the same against was the same against Notts County. Apart from you replaced Lucy, who was unavailable with with Lauren. We had no Abby Morella and no Lucy Farrow at, at at home to Notts County. So, you know, any team, any level, when you lose players of their quality, those three, it has an impact, especially when they're your goal scorers. But I was so proud of the team on Sunday to come through and and uh, this dispel that narrative really that we don't score if Fabian Rell doesn't play, we don't score if Lucy Farrow doesn't play, we won't score if Lauren Church doesn't play. Um, the squad that we've got and the squad that is, a, is going to travel to Mansfield is is a good squad. It's got great quality, great strength and depth and you know we can welcome back uh, Tracy to the squad. Tracy's coming back in which is um, you know a nice boost for us with the seven games that we've got we've got remaining. Elise played last week for the first time this season after she's completed her her training for a job. And and Lauren Carter's back after the month. So, you know, to welcome in three players of that quality, whilst okay, yeah, losing Lucy, Abby and, and, and Lauren over the course of the last two games is fantastic. Lucy's back in, which is of great help given the form that she's in, the sort of player that she is. But we go to Mansfield with confidence that we're gonna play our game and, and hopefully our quality will see us through to, to win the game. Thanks, Chris. Good luck for this weekend's game. Cheers, Nathan. Thank you.